This uh, conference will now be recorded. AM authoring part. So in the AM authoring part, we just go over like uh, it is basically AM is one of the CMS tool, a uh, popular CMS tool that is uh, trending in the market. So uh, before starting with AM, you just have to know like what is CMS. Like uh, if you just go to agenda, so this is our agenda for today. So we'll be having like uh, why do you need a CMS and what's the main use of CMS and what are the different types of CMS that are available in the market and then uh, we'll just go with what is AEM and why you prefer AEM and after that uh, in our session going forward like what are the topics that will be going over in AEM. So if I get started with CMS. So first thing is like CMS. What is the use? What is the name? Like full form of CMS is like abbreviation is you can say it as abbreviation as like content management system. So basically a content like to be uh, explaining in a, just a generic view like uh, nowadays what is happening is like uh, the data in the website is like frequently getting changed so if you take an example of uh, amazon website or flipkart flipkart website right so in that case like let's say today you have a big billion set or something so in that case when you go to amazon website like you'll be just you it, it will be displayed to the user like okay so uh, let's say iphone 12 is on sale iphone 12 you'll get iphone 12 image and then iphone 12 the product name and then you have a pricing of a product and all so this particular product set is available only for two or three days. But later after you go for fourth, fourth or fifth day, right? So then the product will get changed. And then if you're not using any kind of CMS, and this comes the main use of CMS. So if you're not using any kind of CMS for that kind of uh, website, right? So in that case, what happens is like, you should take a help of the front end developer and front end developer has to modify that data and he has to check in the code and that's a long process. So in that case, even if you wanted to manage it effectively in your organization, so what you have to do is like you have to use a CMS. So that's where we are using one of the CMS that's called AEM. So using that CMS, what we can do is like we can just create a component for that particular uh, data that you're seeing in the e-commerce website. So let's take an example of that particular banner itself. So we just create one web, one component that's called as a banner. So in that banner, we just give a name and then uh, let's say like tomorrow, like today we are working on iPhone 12. So like tomorrow, if iPhone 13 is coming for the sale, so what I'll do is like I'll just replace that iPhone 12 name with iPhone 13. I'll, I'll give the iPhone 13 related data and I'll just save the changes and activate those changes. So automatically, when you're using any kind of CMS, that way you can just manage your work effectively. So that's the main use of content management system. So in this content management system, it's not like only AEM. So preferably is like AEM. But uh, apart from AEM, so we have multiple CMS that can be called as a Sitecore, WordPress, Drupal, Document and SharePoint, like that. We have different kind of uh, content management system tools in the market. So, but most of the organizations prefer is like AEM. And uh, like, what is AEM and why are we preferring AEM? So if you talk about AEM, so AEM is like a licensed version of Adobe and that's called Adobe Experience Manager. So the like here you come here you see like some of the major benefits of AEM. So the major benefit would be is like you can just create a digital customer experience. So that's where it's one of the AEM is a major benefit. And after that, uh, AEM is also having different kind of features which is not available in some other uh, CMS tools that can be called as like a content workflows and this DAM. So when you talk about DAM, this is also one of the important topic in AEM. So in DAM, like whatever images or whatever PDFs or whatever asset related data that you're seeing in your website. So all the data will be coming from DAM, which is digital asset management. So going forward in the classes, we'll be just talking that in detail. And after that, uh, this is also one of the important solutions for creating your websites, be it an e-commerce website, or you can just get your mobile applications, mobile websites, and different kind of campaigns also we have, which is Adobe campaign, just for marketing purposes. So that way you can just uh, create your website effectively by using a AEM. Uh, one of the CMS. And then these are the topics that we'll be going to discuss in uh, uh, AEM. So this would be is like, we just we come across like, there are a few terminologies in AEM, say like author, publisher, dispatcher. So we'll just come across like, what is author, what is publishing, what is dispatcher. And after that, whenever you create a page in AEM, so if you wanted to create a page, if you wanted to copy a page, like you have, you have to do different kind of operations like copy, delete, move and all. And along with that, if you wanted to make the page that you have created in your AEM instance, uh, that has to be activated. And uh, for activating, you have to in, you as a one of the operation called manage publication or quick publication. So we'll just come to know like what is that. Coming to the template explanation, first and foremost thing like whenever you create a page in AEM, then you just need a template. So we'll also know about what is a template and what are the main use of template going forward. 
and after that once you create a page you have to author the components on the page it's not like uh, like if you take any of the website let's say e-commerce website of any uh, amazon or flipkart so when you land on the application you just have a banner component in the beginning and then you have different different data so in aem terminology we just call that as a component so if the first module that's called banner that that's called one of the component called banner similarly when you just go down then you have a different kind of text that can be considered as a text component or title component so like that like how do you add a component onto the page and how do you delete how do you copy from one page to other page how are you going to author that respective components on the page that will come across and then uh, we will also know like how do we test that particular components using Chrome emulator or browser stack and different kind of uh, emulator like be it a tablet. We have to do cross browser validations as well. Like when, whenever you just create a page, you just have to make sure how that is rendering in desktop, tablet and mobile. So that also will just come across. And here are some significant components that will be just coming across in our uh, classes. So I just use header and footer, which is like inherited from the parents. You just have to pay it one time. And after that, uh, I have picked some random components like title, image, text, link button, and carousel. These are the kind of components that we are seeing in a, we will be going to see in a project that we're going to explain. And after that, we have one more important topic that's called experience fragments and content fragments. So experience fragments and content fragments are one of the major topic in AEM, I would say, uh, because that uh, using that experience fragments, authors can ease their task. So we'll just come to know like, how do you create a fragment and how do you use a fragment on the pages? That or not, we'll just come to know. And after that, uh, the seventh topic is like uh, distinct modes in AEM. So whenever you create a page, you just have a different kind of mode. So structure mode, what do you mean by structure mode? What is in layout mode? And how do you implement the policies? And then what is the differences between trivial and WC and mode equal to disabled? So all those will just come to know. And the topic number eight and the topic number uh, 12 are related. So that's called about a rollout functionality and multi-site manager. So as an author, this is one of the important topic, I would say, because you just have to create one page. When, like if, you, if your application is in multiple websites, you need not to create a page in each and every a locale or a country. Instead, what you can do is like, you can just create one language master. Uh, you can just, you can take a regional uh, copy of the language master. There you will just create a pages. And from there, you will just roll out your pages to the each and every live copy. So those are the terminologies that we'll be using, blueprint, language copy, and live copy. And rollout is also one of the functionality. If we have to make sure like whenever you are moving from language copy to live copy. So that's operation is called a rollout. We'll just go in detail for that. And the other thing is like i 8 Indian, which is international edition translation. So whenever your website is like supporting in multiple countries, then uh, let's say if you take example of French or Germany, then you should not show German language, you should not show English language in those kind of locales or countries. So in that case, what you have to do is like from the English, you just have to translate your content to the respective language. And we'll just see like, how do you translate your pages? And after that, uh, package managed is one of the important topic where if you're creating like, let's say as a content author, when you just go, you'll be exporting and importing your data from one environment to other environment. So if you wanted to import the data or if you wanted to get one page from other one, one set of environment to other set of environment, then you just have to use a concept called package manager. So the 11th topic is very straightforward. That's uh, just the UA evaluation that you have to do once you're authoring the pages. 12th and year we have discussed. 13th is also one of the important topic, like uh, what are the workflows? Workflows is important topic in AEM. So that we have to, we'll be discussing. And after that, uh, as I said you before, 14th one is a digital asset management. So what are all images that we have uh, in, in AEM or in your website? Be it an image or PDF or Excel files or PPTs or Word documents, anything is coming, when, whichever you're seeing it in your website, everything is posted in dam and from the dam you'll be fetching that in your components so tagging is also other concept and user admin is like uh, different kind of roles for that particular users and area testing we can just uh, do like accessibility testing or accessibility kind of data like how do you uh, how do you make sure like your website is accessible to the people who are like deaf and dumb so you can just use one of the extension and we can verify that and after that the 18th topic would be is like a crxte uh, we'll just come to know like what are the major concepts that we're covering in CRXT, like what or not you do as a kind of a AM author, what or not you're going to do in CRXT. So those are the topics uh, that we'll be covering in our uh, sessions that are going forward. And uh, that's all about AEM and then uh, the content management system. Hello?